This is my review, unboxing and tasting for Japan Okashi Box. This is a Japanese snack subscription and it is loaded with snacks. So this video is gonna be a bit longer than some of my others. If you like this kind of videos, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. This box is $39 a month and you get 15 to 20 snacks in the box. You get one surprise gift um, in there as well and it ship and it arrives at about two weeks after shipping from Japan. So um, this does ship from Japan, it does ship worldwide, but it will take you a little bit longer if you don't live in Japan to get to you because you know, international shipping takes a bit. So it actually shipped like this, only it was wrapped in very thick bubble wrap, uh, taped very securely together with the label on the top. So I just took that off. So this is what the box looks like, comes off. Now it's not quite as neat in here as it was because since I'm tasting it, I had to take pictures for my review post of all the packaging before I cut it open and started nibbling on all of it. So I got a little printout of all of the snacks in the box. They gave me like this cute little letter with a cute little dog on it. So the sheet has a picture of all the snacks and the ingredients, which is very nice. If you have food allergies or sensitivities, this is really great because you know what you're eating. Um, so that's really nice. So it tells you all that. Um, so, I mean, look at all the many snacks. This is all in here. So I said, it's gonna take me a bit. Now, I'm not gonna try to pronounce all of these words unless I feel like I can really do it because, um, you know, I do well to pronounce English words. Puku Puku Thai. I think this is like one of those fish cookie cracker things with chocolate in the middle, given the ingredients. Yes, these are good. So this is what it looks like, a little fish. And the fish tastes like an ice cream cone and it has chocolate in it. I'm gonna take a bite. So the center has like this really soft chocolate filling. There's quite a bit of it. This is really, really good. I love these. We're off to a good start. Uh, I'll save this one for later. All right, given the name, I think this is some sort of potato snack, maybe? Maybe not. They're like little, they almost look like steak cut fries. Oh, this is a bigger piece. So I guess some of them are broken. So this is what it's called, right there. There are the ingredients. Contains wheat, soy, and chicken. These are interesting, I don't know what it is. It's a very thin wafer crisp that has flavors of chicken, and almost potato. I don't know if I'm just psyching myself out thinking it's potato, but it has kind of a potato taste. Oh, these are good. These are like these little salty, Sort of like a goldfish, only they're plain. There's all kinds of fun little shapes, what they look like. They really taste more like a potato chip. Um, they're hollow on the inside, but very crunchy and salty. They're so good. I think they have three different flavors of umebo. That's how I say it. Let's see what flavors we have. All right, so this one is corn pottage. It's basically like a cream corn flavored, that's what it tastes like. So all of them are the same consistency. Um, it's like this puffy, almost like those puffy Cheetos, sort of like that, only a little bit thicker. This is a combination of sweet, um, it's like a sweet cream corn taste. It's very good. And then I gotta figure out which one is yakitori. This one is called yakitori. Let's see if I can tell. I can't tell what flavor it is. Beef? Oh my gosh, that's good. It's like a beef sweet barbecue flavor. That's really good. It has like that wig like glaze on it. It's really good. 
And then this one is takoyaki. I don't know what this one is. It's sort of like a soy sauce coated flavor. It's good. Very different. And this is one product I'm not going to try. Just because I have to make it and I really don't want to have like a whole cup of noodles right now. Um, but this is like curry noodles and it gives you the instructions here in the bottom on how to do it on how much uh how to pour the water in and stir it and you basically add boiling water to the cup wait three minutes um use chopsticks or a fork to break them apart and enjoy that's what they look like almost looks like those things you put in soup all right they are very crunchy they're Baby Star Ramen, and they are sort of toasty, have a toasty taste. Maybe a slight chicken. I think it's chicken extract is in there. I can taste a little bit of that. Um, maybe good in soup. I've had these before. I don't remember what they are, but I have had them. Kayabetsu Taro. Something close to that. It almost looks like a cheese ball, only not cheese flavored. Wow, what a very interesting taste. It's like the first thing I thought of when I ate it was vinegar. It has that initial taste, has sort of like a vinegar flavor. And then there's some other like herbs in there. It's good. Okay. Um, what else do we have? Oh, these are, I think these are a corn snack. Moro Kashiwa Taro. Is taro potato? I don't know. Well, both of those two end in taro, so I'll have to Google that later. These are, again, a puppy snack. They have a hole in the middle. That's what they look like. These are very plain. It's just like a plain, like if you took a Cheeto and you took off the cheese dust. Like a slight corn taste, but they're very, very plain. They're good. Especially if you don't want a whole lot of spiciness or... I think these are spicy, actually. Or maybe I had a spicy version of them. Yes, Kakonantane. We'll show you. Right there. First ingredients, chili pepper. So we're gonna go with these probably have a spice. The other one is a peanut, but this is the spiciness. They almost have an essence of a corn nut, but they're a very crunchy snack. They have a glaze on them, but they definitely have the chili powder um, taste kind of a toasted flavor. Very good. I mean, you're like a, a gummy. K A J Y U gummies. And they're grape flavor, which I love the Japanese grape candy. I don't love the American grape candy, just in general, but Japanese grape candy is really good. Oh, wow. Okay, so I don't know if this comes like this or. If it all got stuck together. I think some of these may have got stuck together. I'm actually going to tear off a piece. They're so good. They have that classic gr Japanese grape candy taste. Sort of like a uh, it's like sparkling grape juice. And then they're gummies. Fabulous. Um... Next up, we have some Kit Kats. I believe these are green tea flavor, if I remember the green packaging, right? But there are tons of different flavors, so we'll check. Yep, matcha. It's green tea flavored Kit Kats. So, I'm going to try one. I'm not a big fan of green tea, so... I haven't really ever been a fan of these, but we'll try them anyway. So they look like they're green. Alright, in the whole grand scheme of green tea candy, these are some of the best. They do have that, um, like, icing coated flavor. So, you do take green tea, but it's not a lot. So, these are actually better than I remember. Not bad. Then, these are called Black Thunder, and they're made of chocolate, which, that sounds good.
that's what the bar looks like. I'm gonna break it in half. So that's a look inside. Looks like there's pieces of chocolate. And this doesn't say it has nuts, so I'm guessing that's some sort of like wheat or like cracker cookie kind of thing. Tastes like a chocolate candy bar. It's really good. I love that. Next up we have some almond glico. They look like almond chews. These are all individually wrapped. But that's what it looks like. The taste isn't bad, but I, it's a really hard. It's a chewy candy, but it's a really hard chew. So I think it's like meant to sit in your mouth and soften a little bit, but even when you do start to chew it, you're gonna have to chew it. It is pretty tough. So not loving that one. These are, look like something I've had before. Gummy Chocos. So maybe chocolate balls with gummy centers. We'll see if that's true. The one thing missing from the printout is like a little description. I would have liked that. Although one could argue that ruins the fun of trying it yourself if you taste it. You know, if you read about it first. Neat packaging. That's what one looks like. Yeah, that's right. It's a chocolate ball and it's gummy strawberry center. It's really good. And I don't eat fruit with chocolate ever. Like chocolate covered cherries. Chocolate covered strawberries, I don't eat them. It's weird. I eat chocolate, I eat strawberries, but separately, never together. These are good. I like that. So I would eat the gummy strawberries um, myself. We have pretz and... I thought this might be green tea pretz, but I've never seen that. I think these are just the original. They're like pretzels on a stick. That's what they look like. Sort of like Pocky, only salty. These really taste more like a potato stick than a pretzel. They're not like, I mean, you can see, they don't really look like pretzels. They're like a potato in a stick. This is what we're trying next. First ingredient says seaweed, so I'm guessing these are like a crunchy seaweed snack. I'm gonna break off a piece. It's a rice cracker, seaweed rice cracker. These taste similar to the other like rice crackers I've had. There's a these are a little bit harder. Um, don't really taste much seaweed. I wouldn't just eat dried seaweed. I don't really taste it. What is this? Obviously, it's Mario on a sucker stick. Super Mario Pilati. There you go. All right, there's not two of them, so I'm gonna try it and not feel guilty about not sharing it with my kids. Oh. They always have the correct way to open packages. Probably you always do it wrong, but I'll try to do it correctly. That's what it looks like. This tastes fine. It's a milk chocolate. I love dark. I mean, it's like a kid's fun novelty type treat. Chocolate isn't that wonderful and the color I wonder if it's just a little bit older not expired but just a little bit older. Um, I don't know. Not loving that one. This one is fun. These are gummies and you can make little gummy sushi out of them. I've had these before. They come out on this little tray. I'm actually not going to eat these. I'm going to save these for my kids, but you can see how they work. So you just peel this backing off and then you can stack up the gummies and make your own little gummy treats. And they taste like, you know, like fruity gummies. Then, I guess here is the gift. Popsticks. There we go. Which, go nicely with this. So you don't really need, you don't need anything. Just take this box with you and you're good to go. All right, I'm not sure if I'll get all these packages back in there without spilling it, but we'll try. All right, I feel like you get a really large number of snacks for your money in this box. 
Now, I mean, granted, some of these, the, the portions are, are small and you are paying $39, but you are, you know, if you live in an area where you have access to lots of Japanese snacks, this might not be a box that you would necessarily subscribe to anyway. But, like for me, I live in the middle of nowhere. Um, and our international food selection at the, at, you know, even at your biggest grocery store is pretty sad. So, I mean, like I can get Pocky and, you know, usually a couple other things, like Japanese snack wise, but that's it. So, I think this is a good value for the number of snacks. I mean, it's a ton of snacks. I mean, I'm, I can't eat anymore and I'm just nibbling throughout all these packages. So obviously you wouldn't do that, <laughs> open them all at once. But um, I mean, you get a lot of snacks. It's gonna take you a while to eat all of these things um, if you subscribe to this box. I mean, let's count real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 items. So you're paying a little less than a dollar an item. I don't think that's unreasonable at all. So, and I do have a coupon code to save you on your subscription. So that's gonna be down below as well. Um, so if you wanna subscribe, be sure to use it to save. I think it saves you like 20%, yeah. That's what I said. So you can check out the written review, though all my tasting uh, notes have pretty much been said during this video. Um, but if you wanna see closer pictures of the packaging or something check out the written review don't forget about my free boxes though there's lots of fun things there completely free boxes who doesn't want that and um, I have a directory so all that's gonna be down below thanks so much for watching and have a great day